Hi, I'm Josh Dubois, and we've been talking about basic bartending, and now I'm going to show you the uh, different ways to cut fruits for your cocktails, for your garnishes. So, the first thing that you're going to always want to have is limes. You're going to have tons of limes around whenever you're entertaining, and the best way to cut limes, now there's three different ways to cut limes that we're going to show you. The first way that I'm going to cut limes is for a uh, high volume speed bar. You're going to take off the ends. You always want to wash your limes. Then you're going to cut the lime in half. Put those like that. And then you're going to cut the lime in half that way. Now you're cutting probably like 40 limes a night in a high volume college bar. And you're going to be getting rid of them just as quickly. And so you want to make small, manageable pieces that you can squeeze with your hand. And that also um, you get a lot of pieces out of one lime. So you're going to cut down this way and basically repeat with the other step. Now you're going to end up with pieces about yay big and these pieces are really easily squeezed into, into drinks like that which is what you're going to want to do for a high volume bar. It's not as, an, it's not as nice of a, uh, of a garnish but it gets the job done when you're entertaining a lot of people really quickly. The next way to cut a lime is for beers. All of, all of the ways that you're going to be cutting these limes is going to be you're taking off these, these ends of them and you always want to remove the sticker as well. But you're going to be taking off the ends for all of them. And you're also going to be slicing them in half for all of them. Um, then you put it down like this and it doesn't roll on you as much. And so for, for beers what you're going to want to do then is just cut like this. And just basically go down the line like this. And these give you really, really manageable size um, limes that fit right into the top of a beer bottle really easily. And it looks really nice in, in the top of like a Corona or something like that. And uh, those you get a little bit less of them um, than you get when you're cutting them like for a high volume college bar. But they look really nice and their duty is to actually be a garnish as well, so they look really nice. Um, the last way that we're going to cut a lime is for um, a nice way for uh, garnishing cocktails in, in a nice bar. And again, you're going to start off the same way. But then you're going to turn it over on this one, and you're going to make a slit down like this. But you don't want to cut all the way through the lime. You want to just go till you get to the pith right here. Then you're going to turn it back over and you're going to cut them so that they're full wedges like this. And then you have them and they slip right on the uh, top of the glass like that. And that looks a little bit nicer and then you allow your customer to actually squeeze the, the lime into their drink. Now the next thing that we're going to cut is oranges. and. Um, you may think it's kind of odd that we're cutting oranges, but oranges are actually a garnish for a lot of beers. A lot of wheat beers have oranges in them, and also oranges go in uh, Blue Moon. So there's several ways that you can cut the orange as well. We're going to cut them down in half so that we have pieces that don't roll around on us very well. And then we're going to cut them like this. Um, you can leave them like this. This will fit into the top of a uh, bottle of beer, but also if you're using um, draft beer, you can cut them like you cut the, the limes where you put this slit down in there and then you cut them like this and that goes on the top of the glass of a draft beer. Now oranges, you want to give them a little bit more of the actual fruit um, than limes because it's less concentrated. And the last thing that you're going to use a lot of is going to be lemons. And again, you're going to cut off the ends of the lemons. And then you're going to cut it down the middle. And you're going to do the lemon pretty much just like you did the lime. Now, there's another way that I've seen lemons cut. And particularly, I like this look better than the next way that I'm going to show you because I think the next way looks kind of cheesy and this way is also more economical but you can cut basic just full 
lemon wheel, and you cut it like this after you get your circle, cut it like this, and then the full lemon wheel goes on like that. I think it looks a little cheesy and it wastes a lot more lemon. So it's up to you, but that's how you cut uh, lemons. And next we're going to go into how to pour liquor correctly. To watch the other segments in this video series or for how-to videos on almost any other topic, visit monkeyseed.com.